name's Sean from Academia. I'm here to tell you today about some advanced drinks that you can find in a cafe here in Melbourne. Uh, now these first drinks I'm telling you about are called filter drinks because of this filter that we use to put coffee inside. Uh, this is a thin piece of paper that can be in a cone shape like this or a circle shape like this. The first drink is called a V60 and uh, the filter sits inside here with the coffee and hot water runs through here and ends up in a cup down the bottom here. The hot water that we use to pour through here is in a pour over jug. Um, so the same process, hot water runs through here in the cup. So the V60 is sometimes called a pour over. It's the same. The next drink is called a batch brew. Uh, so this is a similar process to this one, to V60, but this is a machine. So hot water is on the side here that runs through the filter where the coffee is and lands in the jug down the bottom. Um, the batch brew is a stronger flavour to the V60 because the water sits in here longer before it runs through into the jug. Um, this V60, the water runs through a bit quicker so it's a weaker flavour. Um, a batch brew is hot. The cold brew is the same process as the batch brew, but at the end, once we've finished making the coffee, we put it in the fridge, and then we serve it later on when it's cold. Now I'm going to uh, put my order in with the coffee man, and I'll be back with some more drinks. What? 24 hours? Ah, I know why. Because it's cold brewed. Not cold brewed, like in the last clip. Cold brewed is where we put coffee and cold water in a big bucket or a big jug and it mixes together for 24 hours. Uh, at the end, uh, when we're ready to drink, we put it through filter, a filter and then we're ready to go. Makes sense now. The next one, cold drip, a bit quicker than cold brewed, still eight hours, but quicker than this one. This one we have three different containers. The first one is cold water, which drips through into the coffee, which has a filter, uh, and then into the last container, which is a final mix, uh, and then we're ready to drink that after eight hours. Um, a cold drip is a cleaner and richer flavor uh, than the cold brewed. Um, so this one is more similar to regular coffee, except it's cold. Uh, the last coffee, iced latte, we have ice cubes down the bottom, then cold milk and coffee, which is one or two shots of espresso, um, or the cold drip or cold brewed. Now I'm going to go check on the mix, and I'll be back with some more drinks. No. no, I don't think that's going to be ready for a while. So, I can tell you about some other cold drinks, starting with a nice coffee. Now this one is in a glass, not a cup. Uh, so we start with a scoop of ice cream, uh, 60 mils of coffee, 240 mils of milk, and then a spiral of cream on the top. Uh, we normally have a straw to drink this with, and a spoon to eat the ice cream. A nice chocolate is the same as this, except there's no coffee, just chocolate. In a mocha, we have chocolate and coffee together, and all of this. So these are cold drinks. Moving on to the next one, which are hot drinks. A chai latte uh, is a normal latte, except we have chai powder. Um, so chai is black tea and spices together. Um, it's from India. Um, and we have the chai powder mixed with 30 mils of hot water and then we have 180 mils of milk and a centimetre of foam on the top. A dirty chai is the same as this except we have an extra shot of coffee, normally espresso coffee. Um, matcha latte, again normal latte except we have matcha powder. Um, matcha is a Japanese green tea. So we have matcha powder mixed with 30 mils of milk, um, 
of water, then the milk on top of that, and then a centimetre of foam. Um, the next one, going back to cold drinks, affogato. Um, we have one scoop of ice cream, and then 30 mils of coffee, normally espresso. And we have this with a spoon. Um, so, I th I've changed my mind, I'm going to go get an affogato, and I'll be back with some more drinks. Affogato always hits the spot. Now, the last thing I'm going to tell you is about the different types of coffee and different types of milk uh, you can find in a cafe, starting with single origin. So this coffee um, is from the same area of a country or the same country. The blend is a mixture of coffee from different parts of a um, country or different countries. Normally a blend is what you get in a coffee in cafes, unless you ask for single origin. Uh, now, milk, <clears throat> starting with regular full cream milk, um, this milk is what you get normally in coffee at a cafe, unless you ask for anything different. The next one, skim or skinny milk, has less fat than full cream. Um, and the next one, soy milk, is from the soybean. Um, so this milk is what vegans usually have because it's not from an animal product. So these are the uh, normal, regular types of milk in the cafe. Um, the next milks um, are a bit less common. But almond milk is from the nut almond um, and some people say it's healthier than soy um, or they prefer almond to soy. Um, same with oat milk. Now oat milk is a bit newer. Um, it's from the thing, uh, oats that you have in porridge or muesli. Um, again, some people prefer oat milk to almond milk or soy. And the last one is a new milk from camel. From a camel. So camel milk is normally quite expensive. So it's not in many cafes. Um, it's not that common. But if you do find it in a cafe, it's normally quite expensive. So if you have a camel chino, for example, uh, it'd probably be about ten dollars. But you know what? I'm going to try one anyway, and I'll see you next time.